Taking ages. Mommy, you were taking ages. That's for Jordan. It's mermaid water. It doesn't make things right. It does. Happy Friday everybody, uh, must apologise, I've done it again, never picked up the camera all day, it's now 6.24pm, weather's been miserable all day, it's actually bucketed down with rain before, so I haven't done a great deal anyway, but um, I've just been sitting editing the latest episode of uh, John and Kayla Get the Disney's, so I'll try and get that uploaded over the weekend, it's a little bit late because we've been uploading them or releasing them on a Friday, but not going to happen this week. But I have been on holiday, so I've been trying to take some time out as well. I'm still waiting. I'm going to give Jordan some grief now because I'm still waiting for him to release last week's uh, weekly vlog. And guess what? I'll be waiting for his files until Monday as well for this week. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to nip down now and maybe grab a beer because I think I've had enough. <laughs> So I found these three beers when I was out um, shopping yesterday and I'm just going to do a quick taste test. They're um, Piston Head, all three different lagers but three different versions of a lager. So this one's, this first one up is a, a dry hopped lager, it's called Flat Tire Piston Head. Uh, never heard of them before but you know that's... Uh, Crack it open and give it a try. At least this one's not non-alcoholic. Oh, it says brewed with mosaic hops, whatever they are. I'm no expert, it's 4.5% uh, alcohol. It's got a bit of a bitter aftertaste. It's, um, I should have maybe poured these into a clear glass so we could see what the color's like, but it's, yeah. It's it it's all right. It's nice. It's been in the fridge chilling all night, so it's it's okay. But yeah, yeah, you can tell it's it's a hoppy beer. So <clears throat> next up, crack it open is the um, full amber. Same again, Piston Head Brewery. Uh, this one is Citra. Dry hopped with citra and cascade. Brewed with hints of spicy citrus with a bitter twist. But yeah, let's go give this one a go. Ooh, that's really bitter. It says it's a dark, full-bodied amber lager, so I can imagine that'd be... Yeah, that, that is, does look quite dark in the can, but... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know whether I like that one. I'll finish it, obviously, but, you know. Um, that's coming in last at the minute. And then we've got the uh, custom lager, which doesn't give you... All oh, right, hang on. Custom brewed with a double clutch of... Put my glasses on for this one. So this one is custom brewed with a double clutch of Munchener malt and Pilsner malt injected with Spalta Select Magnum and Pearl hops. So again, no expert on beer by any stretch of the imagination. Crack this one open, give this one a try. Oh, I know. Yeah, that one's winning. So that one's okay. Still got a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, and I've just realised that this is caught from uh, Brutal Brewing Piston Head Lager. Mm -hmm. oh. But yeah, so in order of preference, I'll go with the custom lager, first place. Um, flat tyre in second place. And 
third place, bring up the rear, the full amber. It's, yeah. And that's actually the strongest one, I think. Six, 4.5, 4.6. So yeah, that's the, the full amber is the strongest one. So, But I don't think it's the alcohol content that's making it taste a little bit funny. It's definitely got an aftertaste. It's bitter. So I'll have to polish this one off first and then wash it down with the other two. Okay, so cheers. Hello, everybody. So I feel like I haven't really recorded a lot recently, um, especially since we got back from Florida. Just been kind of wiped out, to be totally honest. Um, had a lot going on with work, um, and just you know things, things at home, tidying up, you know, boring stuff. So um, had work tonight. Um, got home, and just kind of chilled. Um, my allergies are really, really kicking my butt at the minute. Um, you can probably hear them quite congested. Um, it's getting a bit annoying, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. So, um, but yeah, you know that's going to change. Eventually, uh, I'm going to have some more stuff going on. Um, I'm out of work at five tomorrow uh, afternoon. Um, me and Jack will probably go and do something tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned. There's definitely going to be some fun stuff coming from my side as well, because Pierre's not the one that gets to have all the fun going to the beaches and stuff. Good morning. It's Saturday the 7th of August today, and we are going to have a walk up around Northumberlandia. Going to nip along and pick up Rachel and Ellie. Amelia stayed the night last night, so she's already here. We're all ready. Just got to get out now, get in the car, Get up there. Quite dramatic, the sky. Looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> Gee whiz, Granny. Taking us on this climb. Oh. Phew. I'm going to fall back down. Last time we came up here, that was all open. That quarry was pretty deep. Look, who's up on my shoulders again? Amelia, because she's too lazy to walk. <laughs> we need wipes, do you? <laughs> Have it now, that's up our nose. That nice thing. Mm. Well, man! <laughs> so, because we can't get to America, we thought we'd bring a little bit of America to us and we're going to have uh, biscuits and gravy. But then at the night, uh, along with some scrambled egg and a little bit of streaky bacon. So I found the recipe online. Uh, pretty simple. Buttermilk biscuits. Um, sausage gravy was so easy to make. Just sausage meat, uh, onion, bit of Worcester sauce. We used, um, over in the UK it's called Cumberland sausage. It's got like um, herbs and all mixed into the meat already. So we used that meat to give it a little bit of uh, flavour. So a little bit of flour in there and then some milk on top to make the sauce, the gravy. And this, I have to say, is pretty damn good. What do you think, you Yvonne? Go good. That means it's good. Well, I think that speaks for itself, do you? I'm really um, so excited. <laughs> Two clean plates. <laughs> Yeah, it felt like a breakfast for dinner kind of night, not going to lie. Jack's having mac and cheese, some carrots, some chicken nuggets. Oh, what? what have we got in there? Water? Is it nice? Yeah. And some more. Okay, eat some more. Good morning, happy Sunday. Last day of my holidays today. So, um, 
we're going out for breakfast this morning again. We're going to the Toby Carvery. Uh, it's about three, four miles away. Um, and they do a breakfast special on a Sunday. Well, I believe it's just on a Sunday, maybe other days of the week. Um, I think Yvonne said it's for 4 99 ahead. So, yeah, that's where we're heading. Well, yet again, I've done pretty much nothing all day today. We went out for breakfast. Um, came home, watched a bit of TV, sat and chilled for a couple of hours, and then um, went in the hot tub. Just come out of the hot tub, been in the shower, and um, just going to settle down now and finish off editing Jordan Kaler's video. Got to nip out for some gas later, but I might see how much is in, actually in the car and see whether I can get to work and back tomorrow and do it tomorrow night, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, back on the M50 here, because I've just kind of rejigged the setup in the office. Um, and I'm trying to see whether I can use this because it's just sitting redundant really if I can I'm always sat at my computer I might as well use this one that's connected up do the recording from there keep the EOS off or when I'm out and about got so many options don't know what to do with them all <laughs> well I think that's just about going to do it for me for tonight um because I'm back to work tomorrow so uh, that's the last episode of um Jordan and Kayla get the Disney season two edited uh, I've just got to do a closing title, which I'll rattle through tomorrow night when I get in from work and get this uploaded. Um, but for now, that's me done, and I'm back to work tomorrow, as I've said. So, yeah, really not looking forward to that, but hey, see you tomorrow night when I get in. Alright, well, let's try this mermaid water. I mean, it looks... It, it looks like the beach... I hope it doesn't taste like the beach. It doesn't taste like the beach, but it doesn't taste nice. Oh, it should be called toilet water. What does it taste like? Toilet water. <laughs> no, what does it really taste like? Imagine, like, if somebody gave you a, like a, a bottle of crystal geyser. Yeah. And then ran up to the side of you and decided to shout the word mango at your face. <laughs> and then farted. No, that's, that's, what it like. that's what it tastes like. It's horrible. From the top, because the top looks prettier than the bottom. It doesn't, it's not going to change things. It's going to taste exactly the same. No, show me your tongue. Show me your tongue. Yep, yeah, there's the face, everybody. Like Toilet water. Second time around, try it again. I think you'll change your mind. Show me your tongue, mommy. Show me your tongue. Show me your tongue. It's worse the second time. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I try. What kind oh. of? <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with some mozzarella sticks with what looks like a homemade marinara sauce. And then these sounded insane. So these are maple bacon chicken skewers made in a New England maple syrup. Alright, let's give these a try. See what they like. They smell really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That maple bacon is insane. Alright, so now Jack got um, like haddock fish nuggets or fish bites with fries. Kayla got, um, what are they, belly clams? Whole belly clams. Whole belly clams with fries. onion rings. And then I got the uh, filet fish sandwich with some sweet potato fries and a lot of ranch to go in just for them babies. Kayla just said that these onion rings taste like Christmas. Then she revised her statement and said, it tastes like a mixture between Christmas and the Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. The right. 
which doesn't make any sense. So let's give this Christmas Pirates of the Caribbean right onion ring a try. It just smells like an onion ring. It's batter. What about it? So what you did is you just plucked two random things out of the sky basically and just said, this tastes like NASCAR and the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather see them alive and in the wild though, George. Yeah. Did you have fun in there? Yeah. Do you want to go to the arcade now? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Where's the arcade? It's over there. There. What is it with Jurassic Park games being out of order when I want to use them? Given Jordan his allowance. <laughs> All right, let me have a look. Over that way a little bit. No, like that way. I think so. I think. Oh, too far. Too far. Okay. Try it. <laughs> the goat, <laughs> the claw. <laughs> I win games wherever I go. Master. Okay, now it's mommy's turn. No pressure, but I did mine on the first try. You're very welcome. Do you think mommy's gonna get one? I don't. <laughs> No, no. No. That was like not hard enough cheese, so it's... do you even pong? <laughs> Bruh, do you even pong? <laughs> Rejecting you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and Jack's throwing them out of the machine. I don't want you on my palm team. I really don't want you on my palm team at all. That's the blue button to stop. There we go. I don't think you get tickets from this game either. I don't care. <laughs> You got used backboard there. You don't even get a backboard in real pong. I gotta say, whoever in Jean is uh, this idea. <laughs> Beer pong at an arcade. <laughs> well, that's not fair. That went in the front one then. Cheat. Oh, it's because Jack's thrown them. You're cheating. Stop. Daddy, he wants to try too. He's bumped. He's not. It said I was a cheater. It told me I was cheating. Okay, so we have to use the dinosaur to keep these underneath the bridge. not even to bother recording played decided to play this one kind of wish I'd uh, hit record because I'm just the best well Jack cashed in his tickets he got a turtle bat and he got a blue playable car so far the kids doing pretty well finally a Jurassic Park game that I can play That wasn't great, but that was still a fun time down by the beach. Jack had fun at the arcade. I had a lot of fun at the arcade. Uh, but now we're gonna go home. Uh, we're gonna call my parents and chill for the rest of the day, to be honest. Very tired. It's hard being that good at uh, claw games. I'll tell you one thing, I'm so thirsty, and the only thing I've got to drink is this horrible trash water. Is it worth warm? It's still cold. It kind of got better with age. I think it's had time to mix, but it's still not good. What is in it? It's supposed to be like a nutritional tea. There's nothing nutritional or tea-like about that drink. It's called mermaid water. Awful.
already been absolutely devouring it, but uh, I got the mint explosion, which is basically mint chocolate chip on a waffle cone. What did you get? Peanut butter 160. Peanut butter oh, 160, 180. <laughs> she missed 20 degrees. Um, but don't worry, she made up for it by eating my ice cream, so that's okay. And Jack got Dinosaur Crunch. Is yours good, dude? And he got a spoon that changes color with the temperature. That is so cool. So that was from Susie Sweets, which is in Hampton. Now we are going to be getting one in Seabrook um, within the next couple of weeks, I think it opens. I think it opens on the 11th, the same time as the um, new burger place, yeah? Is it? I think so. We'll have to double check, but that uh, Shane's barbecue pit that we've been to um, is opening a burger um, place um, right in town. Backyard burgers and wings. Backyard burgers and wings. It sounds and looks incredible. Uh, we'll definitely be checking that out. And um, that opens on the 11th. Um, it's the first time we've ever tried Susie Sweets. And I must say, very, very pleasantly surprised. So I'm very excited that that's going to be coming to Seabrook as well. Happy Monday. Just got home, got changed, had a bite to eat. And uh, yeah, we're back. Back to work today. Uh, not a bad day, to be fair. Uh, went into 300 emails. But um, it could have been a lot worse. So, yeah, just recovered from that. Um, next up, I've got to go and get some gas. And then I'm just going to chill out. I've got to finish off editing this video that I've been working on over the weekend. Just a closing titles to run on that. So we'll get those sorted, get it exported, get it uploaded to YouTube. And then um, get cracking on this week's weekly vlog. Or last week's weekly vlog. Get that uploaded this week. So, yeah. Just a quick update, um, it's quite dry out there, quite nice, it has rained earlier on today, uh, but it's, like I say, it's dry at the minute, so yeah, we'll see what happens a little bit later on, I think we're expecting a call off Jordan today, because he's off, so we'll sp have some time speaking to him and Jack, and then, yeah, depending on what time, uh, might get out for a breath of fresh air. Uh, like I say, I've been stuck in this stuffy office all day. I haven't seen it. Haven't seen outdoors all day. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Jack, what are you playing? I'm going to play Minecraft. You're gonna play Minecraft? Yeah. All right. So we've come to Hobby Lobby because we found out that all of the fall stuff is out. So we're gonna go and see if we can find some Halloween stuff and try to get excited because Halloween is right round the corner. And I can't believe what I've just seen. He has me getting excited for Halloween. And their Christmas trees are out. Yeah, we're not looking at Christmas trees right now, Jack. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at these ones. I know, are you so excited for Christmas all of a sudden? Yeah, Santa's yeah. coming again. Well, in a while. Four months. Yeah, he's going to buy me. Some he is. He's, not gonna buy him. he's gonna. gonna he's it. gonna make you presents and toys. He's gonna make me shark game. Oh, cool. Dad's gonna play with me shark So a hole in one on this hole will get us a free dinner at Lena's Seafood. So Daddy goes first, Jack second, Mommy third. There we go. Excited to mini golf? Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna win. Well, wait, Daddy right, okay, turn first. Your turn. Ready? No cigar, Daddy.
By one. By one, but now we're tying. Well, now we're tying. Sounded accurate. This has been a pretty successful day for me. I got a hole in one on hole number 13, which is very unlucky. And I won a hamburger or cheeseburger special at Lena Seafood. Houston, we have a problem. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Got a bit of an issue, Jordan pointed out last night after I'd uploaded the uh, last episode of or the, you know, the last episode of season two. Jordan and Kayla's got the get the Disney's. Uh, the audio was out of sync, and when I've done some digging into it, I tried all ways to work out what was going wrong. Um, tried re-editing, snipping a few of the the um, video clips. <coughs> tried snipping them, shrinking them down, the ones that had no audio just to see whether that would pull the following clips back in line. Just wasn't having it. So I've come to the conclusion that it's DaVinci Resolve didn't like the iPhone files that were in there. Thanks, Jordan. So it looks like I'm going to have to redo the whole thing, start again. There is a, like a, a file converter that you can get um, to convert the iPhone files to something specific that DaVinci can use. Um, so yeah, that's obviously threw a spanner in the works for that one. Didn't get that released yesterday as planned. So um, we might have to skip a week because if it takes us too long to, to sort this out, I don't want to go back to using Premiere Pro, even though I've still got it. I just like the user interface with DaVinci. Now that I've got used to it, it's so much better I think anyway personal opinion um, so that's where we're at uh, hopefully it's not going to take up too, too much of my time and um, I can get it back on track Just turn it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. camera sees you here. You have to look into that bit. <laughs> That's too close. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you little dipstick. No, put the nipple. <laughs> put the nipple. Put the nipple. <laughs> Put in the floor. Put in the floor. Put in the floor. 
Well, happy hump day everybody. It's been a quiet night, to say the least. A little bit of footage of me chasing Amelia around the garden, but um, other than that, yeah, got home, got changed, had a bite to eat, and uh, just literally just chillaxed. I was planning on going out for a roundabout sunset just to go for a walk and get a bit of fresh air, but it started to rain, so yeah, that's got my dad idea. So I'm just gonna sit down here now and um, carry on with a little bit more editing of last week's vlog um, and we'll get that uploaded hopefully Friday hello everybody happy Wednesday I uh, just got home got changed um, had a bite to eat feel like Pierre um, but yeah, now some new points. yeah Kayla tidied this house from top to bottom tonight today she's been working very very hard um, it looks incredible <laughs> Jack cleaned too. Jack did a lot no, of cleaning, mommy didn't you? Did it. No, you? Mommy did it. Mommy didn't do it. Did you do it all? I did it. I did it. No, mommy. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so Kayla has earned a. Um, well, she's got to keep it tidy though. She has to keep it tidy. That was the deal. I made a deal with her. If she threw out a bunch of stuff, she emptied the cupboards, the closets, the lot. Um, while she was off today and she can keep it clean and this is a collective effort we all need to do this but if if she can make sure that this house is is kept on top of between now and going to disney then we'll talk about getting a new um dvc contract so we'll see we will see um but yeah tonight is the official premiere of uh marvel what if so we're gonna sit down and watch that um very very intrigued as to what this is going to be like and what it's going to be about it's officially mcu canon uh, which means that all of this stuff has happened in the marvel cinematic universe in a different universe so uh we're going to sit down we're going to watch that um and then that's going to be pretty much it for the rest of the night just going to chill and go to bed so stay tuned for the review that was so freaking cool I need the next one now. Hello everybody, happy Thursday. The smell that has just appeared when I started recording this video is insane. And um, yesterday, that new uh, backyard burgers and wings opened. So we're gonna go and check it out now. Note to self, the triple stack was amazing, but just get one patty next time. Yeah, maybe two. Happy Thursday, everybody. Just got home, got changed, had a bite to eat. Uh, got a nip out, do a couple of errands in a minute, and then it's quite nice outside, so yeah, keep your fingers crossed. We will get a call from Jordan later, because he's day off today. So we'll be speaking to him and Jack on uh, Skype, probably. But, I'd love to get out for a walk. So we'll see what time that gets wrapped up. Um, I think Yvonne's off tomorrow, so could be a late one. But, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can get out for a wander. Uh, but if not, then... Yeah, I'll catch up with you later before I go to bed. Well, best laid plans. Done absolutely nothing all night. So yeah, just come off the uh, come off Skype with Jordan. Um, seen Jack for half an hour. 
they have now gone off into the pool to have some pool time fun because it's 100 degrees over there and we're just about to uh, go to bed well that's the end of a very very fun week but yeah we hope you enjoyed it um i want to say thank you for watching make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future content make sure you leave a like give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video um and don't forget to ring the bell this one pierre <laughs> um so that you don't miss any you'll be alerted when the next one comes out um and yeah thank you again for watching Bye.